Hey, what's up, guys? Braden Ursel here with Castanet News, and we've got some interesting stories to go over from the past seven days in our Week in Review, including a house fire that sparked in a Kelowna neighborhood, a grass fire that was doused by the Vernon Fire Department, two fishermen who went missing a week ago have been found dead in Stump Lake, and finally, Interior Health is working on coming up with a staffing fix for their workers. We'll start things off from the top, where a house fire broke out on the second floor of a family home on Friday afternoon, just off the corner of Springfield and Birch Road in Kelowna. At approximately 12.48, uh, a call came into dispatch for heavy smoke from the rear of a unit at 12.75 Birch. Uh, units arriving bumped it up to a third alarm fire, uh, which means we respond to extra resources. Uh, the guys were able to do a fantastic job, knocked it down, kept it pretty much to a room and contents fire on the second floor of this unit. There were no injuries reported in the fire and the cause of the blaze is currently under investigation. A grass fire got away on a private property off Highway 97 south of Vernon on Thursday. Fortunately, Vernon Fire Rescue Services responded to the scene quickly and were able to extinguish the blaze before it got out of hand. The fire burned an area of about 200 meters by 50 meters along High Ridge Road and appears to have gotten within 30 to 40 meters of a nearby home before being taken out by fire crews. Interior Health CEO Susan Brown was in Penticton this week and says the health authority's main goal is to add and retain more doctors, nurses and health science professionals as some local medical facilities continue to face disruptions. We saw uh, through the pandemic shifts in the workforce and then of course um, uh, still are recovering from, from some of uh, the loss. However, we have invested a lot of new net new services into the healthcare arena. It's harder for them to leave the work day and feel really fulfilled and that they've done everything they can. So supporting them in other means is really important. So if you don't have the full complement of nurses, is there other um, services or people that we can bring to bear to support the nurses to do their job? Brown is hopeful that the new collective agreements will incentivize nurses across Canada to come to work in BC. Interior Health's goal is to get back to providing the services they did pre-pandemic while continuing to advance. Two fishermen who went missing last week on Stump Lake have been found dead. According to police, an underwater recovery team located the bodies and their boat on Wednesday, and the BC Corner Service is now conducting an investigation as to what happened. The two men were fishermen from the Lower Mainland, and they were found roughly 30 kilometers south of Kamloops. That just about does it for the July 2nd edition of the Week in Review. For Cassinet News, I'm Brad Nursel, and I'll see you guys next week.